welcome back guys today in this video I'm going to show you a small refactor which I have done to handle you know, the code where you know, we were adding the video submission that should go through a service rather than you know, the entire code inside our controller so if I check out my older branch right where I had stopped my last video and if I go to HTTP controllers video controller, you will see that all this logic of you know, first detecting the description, then creating the video, and even the user ID, which was ID like right, like this, is in the controller, and we can ideally move this into a service, and that's what I have precisely done. So if I reset everything and get back to master branch, you can see now the controller has only one method, which is video service dot add video submission. The video service is something which I am injecting through my controller. Okay, this is one way of injecting classes or services. I could have done it here as well, but I felt that you know. The video service might be required on almost all the methods inside this controller so we can inject it in, into the controller for example I will refactor the code so that this is also taken from the service okay but yeah you, you get the hold of it right so we, we have moved our business logic from the controller into the service and if I go inside this now you can see I'm not relying on the request inside the service you need to understand that when we are creating a service we need to ensure that the service is as independent as possible i'm not using the auth user i'm not using the request object what i'm doing is i'm passing a validated data which is this array okay and that array should have these fields for it to work properly which means when I am writing tests for the service class, which I will do in the future video, when I'm writing a unit test for that service, what we can do is we don't need to send the request object, right? We don't need to look at integration level test. We can write actual unit tests where I pass an array and I pass a user and I can easily detect what is coming back. And that's the beauty. Of keeping it independent if I had you know use the request object here okay then what would mean is when I'm writing the unit test I'll have to mock a request object which is really not the case because then I, I am better off writing an integration test instead of a unit test so yes ideally your controllers should be tested using integration test and your business logic which is inside your service should be tested using unit test and that's the reason you will realize that at some point you need to ensure that your services are independent of the framework objects I could have written the auth user here but then as I told you a logged in user will be required and that is not the case here I can send any user and I would be able to ensure that I'm creating a user uh, rather I'm creating a submission of video using that particular user right I don't need to do this acting as user which we have seen in our previous video right so yes that is the beauty that is how I have separated you know, the code from the controller inside this service class and because I have tests written for it I can run PHP unit which is PU for me and all the tests are passing so this is a small video on what I feel is a good approach on having your service classes and their functions okay to make them test testable or rather testing friendly right do let me know what you feel about this video if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel